Kingstream Entertainment. Bruce Lawn. Okay, so in light of everything that's happening, in light of all of the social issues, in light of Black Lives Matter, the Breonna Taylor thing, I came across this story. I don't hear a lot of people talking about it, and I kind of want to do something to highlight this because I feel like this is the solution. This is what a lot of people are asking for with the A Can't Wait campaign. There's a gentleman out of Compton. Uh, he's a Los Angeles sheriff named... Art Gonzalez. Not sure if you guys have heard of this story. I've talked about it at least on two videos. Art Gonzalez, whistleblower cop, says teen was murdered by police as part of a department gang initiation. Los Angeles County Sheriff Deputy Art Gonzalez is currently living in fear because he took the bold stance to stand up to an alleged violent clique of cops. For six hours, he testified under oath about a gang of deputies at the Compton Station known as the Executioners. In his testimony for an excessive force lawsuit, he alleged that Deputy Miguel uh, Vega killed 18-year-old Andreas Guardo to impress the ex Executioners gang in hopes of being initiated. Gonzalez claims, uh, uh, claims states he has been forced to step down from his position as a field training officer due to the fear of retaliation from, from other officers. This has been covered in the local news. It has not been a natural uh, national story. Gonzalez is a former U.S. Marine decorated for service in Iraq and Afghanistan. This is a freaking war hero. Um, his tipping point came after executioner assaulted fellow deputy Thomas. I don't know how to say that. After the incident, he left an anonymous tip, followed all proper protocol on a confidential hotline that was intercepted and sent to the executioners. After reporting the attack, a note that read, Art is a rat, was placed on the keypad to the entrance of the patrol station. Um, he's saying 40% of this department, the Compton department, is either members of the gang or prospects of the gang. They all have these matching tattoos of this skull with an uh, AK-47 and uh, apparently a Nazi-style uh, helmet. They are not, uh, uh, no blacks or women are allowed in this gang. So it's predominantly Hispanics and whites. I'm assuming maybe there's some Asians. 40% is infiltrated. And he literally did everything right. This gang goes back decades in Compton. Um, and he literally did every single thing right. And apparently someone lost their life in the process. He's getting death threats left and right. And so I... I think this story is incredible. I think this man is a national hero. I think this is what we need with police officers um, stepping up. And this is one of the things of A Can't Wait, one of their requirements. Those of you guys are actually paying attention what people want is they're asking for um, they're asking for a duty to intervene by police officers when they see something corrupt go on. And this man literally uh, is, you know, is he's, he's a sacrificial lamb in this situation. He's laying down everything and he... Uh, and he, he got pushed out of the department. I don't know how much of this has been validated. I've watched some of the testimony. It seems like he seems like the real deal. I don't know why this man would make all of this stuff up, but he seems like the real deal. Compton has a pretty sketchy um, history in terms of the Compton department getting uh, deteriorated. My question to you guys, those of you guys that are in the Zoom, those of you guys that are watching this live, I'm curious. This is what I'm thinking, and I brought this up in my Bible study last night. I think... I think I may want to do a GoFundMe for this dude to highlight someone who's doing the right thing. Who, who, if you are, if you want to see change in law enforcement, we need to celebrate these guys. We need to normalize this kind of behavior. We need to say this is what we want from our police officers. You know, a lot of a lot of cops or a lot of people who are in law enforcement, man, we have a lot of issue in the inner city community because of the no snitching thing, the no snitching thing, the no snitching thing. People don't want to testify. And when you talk to people from the hood, they say, yo, we got the no snitching thing from the cops because the cops don't tell on each other. They'll see each other do something illegal or something foul. They don't tell each other. Who, where do you think we got no snitching from, right? So, like, I'm saying, like, let's normalize this. I want police officers to tell on other police officers when police officers are misbehaving. I want this culture to be changed and to be transformed. And I think maybe if we do a GoFundMe and re raise some funds for our Gonzalez and bring a little bit of, of, of visibility to this story, maybe, just maybe, uh, this is something that people from both sides can rally behind. People who want to see um, want to see some of these laws change, want to see a duty to intervene from police officers. 
uh, people who are, you know, on the Black Lives Matter side will be like, yeah, this is what we want to celebrate. And then maybe we'll even get some folks. And I'm asking my folks in law enforcement, I'm, t I'm, t I'm telling them, hey, um, if I do a GoFundMe with this guy, will you help me get the word out? Because I want to see the Blue Lives Matter people rally and say, this is what we want in law enforcement. These are the type of people we want to celebrate. This man is a national hero. And unfortunately, his life is being ra ripped apart and he's getting death threats for doing the right thing. And I think it's very sad um, and, I, and I think it's unfortunate that the media is not covering this. Like, is this not what we want to see um, as we're talking about rethinking police officers? We need to celebrate these guys. We need to make these guys the standard um, in law enforcement. So what do you guys think? I'm going to bring in my man, uh, Jay. I want to hear from some of you guys, especially, uh, specifically guys like Bart. Um, what do you think, Jay? Did you mean to have your hand up? Because you just smiled. Yeah, I did. You okay. Yeah, I did. What, do you think, um, what, what do you think about what Arkansas? About it is, like, um, to be honest with you, I think that's a good thing because, like, Low key, like I'm not surprised that there's like initiations, like stuff like that, and I think that there's cops that want to speak out. You know what I'm saying? I feel like there's a lot of them that want to speak out like this. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And bring the light to what's going on. But like I feel like there's like threats. I feel like them they're they're probably in the initiation. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? In some type of initiation, and they're scared of you know what I'm saying things happening to them. You know what I'm saying? There's no telling. Mm -hmm. And um, I think that this is that that that's a good thing to invest in because. Like, this is somebody that's like in, you know what I'm saying, in, yep. in the law enforcement. Yep. You know what I'm saying? And we, we could like scream, you know what I'm saying, all this stuff that's going on and talk about it all and everything. But like, this is somebody coming from the inside that knows what's going on. And I think that we should support that, to be honest with you. Yep. I, I really think I really think that's a good idea, to be honest with you. And, and just, just to juxtapose this story, not sure if you guys saw the recent Dave Chappelle special. I don't mean to get in the weeds on this, but the recent Dave Chappelle special, he was talking about a police officer from, um, it was about a decade ago, named Christopher Dorner, right? And Christopher Dorner, similar situation in, in LA. I don't know if he was at LA uh, Sheriff's or not. However, he um, blew the whistle. He blew the whistle on something that he thought was unjust, and he ended up getting... I believe reprimanded for it, lost his job and lost his mind and went on a killing spree and killed a bunch of police officers. Um, this is very sad and that, that, that this 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 man was doing the right thing. I'm not saying he, he was right in killing police officers. I don't ever promote that. But go watch that Dave Chappelle special. It's very interesting. But what do you guys think? I'm going to pin up Bartholomew. Um, I want to hear from some of you guys. Bart, what do you think, man, doing something like this to first of all, highlight Art Gonzalez's story, but also to meet some practical needs i'm sure like this man lost his career uh for doing the right thing so what, what do you think brother and i think my guy art gonzalez did that like he yeah. literally reallocated the primary research he had as a police officer which wasn't his money it was yep. his voice and his literal job yes you know and he put that on the line because he loved people so much that he gave his only job you know for the people he loved about and i think that i mean i feel like i'm quoting scripture right now it's not like john 3 16 you yep. know what i mean um, and I think that's what it looks like. It's not, it's not these pithy statements and gaslighting. Like that dude needs to be highlighted, and he can serve as a model yep. for what true incarnational living or allyship, whatever you want to call it, looks mm -hmm. like. Yeah, man, I'm with it 1,000 percent as well. I think uh, this dude is a straight up hero. Um, we need to we need to fully support him as as best we can. Uh, I know. I, I kind of envision maybe some of the even local churches and local community in that area uh, really getting behind a GoFundMe and also kind of supporting physical needs in other ways. Yeah. As well. Yeah, I think, um, you know, compiling everything with the GoFundMe and everything like that, and even, you know, trying to reach out to him, you know, reaching out to him, seeing if there's, you know, not only with the GoFundMe and with, like, the support of the local churches, but anything that we can do, like, uh, physically, like on hand, like anything him and his family may need, mm -hmm. type stuff. So, um, just showing like that, that, uh, you know, not only, you know, monetarily, like, yeah. yo, you know, people looking out for you, but also like compassionately, like, yo, like, like we stand with you type situation. So. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's good. Let me go to, uh, let me go to the homie, uh, Leland. What do you think, boss? First off, the fact that this is not a national story is understandable. We're dealing with a pandemic. We're dealing with the Republican Party. We're dealing with, you know, cultural Marxism, you know, and everybody's yelling at everybody and there's propaganda going on everywhere. So stories like this 
get shuffled in the sauce, and it's sad. Mm. But you know, you got the platform. I believe if you reach out first and get some big donors, mm. and you know, it'll get the story out. Mm. And it can happen, man. I believe in it. So I like the idea, Leland, you gave of saying, "Hey, like, let me." Because that what I'll do is I, I'll I'll reach out, I'll get it up, and then. I'll reach out to people that I know got got a little bread and see if we can get like yes. a bump to it, and I'll give some yes. you know out, out the rip. So that way it, the, it launches and there's already a couple bands sitting couple there. Couple bands in it, and yeah. then people are like, yeah, sure, yeah. yeah and then we'll crazy. set a goal of something feasible, and then see if we could just blow that goal out of the water. Um, right. I, and, and I think the GoFundMe will hopefully just bring just bring visibility to it. And I think and like yo, if you if you a Blue Lives Matter, if you a stand with the blue kind of guy, if you on that tip, like you should want to promote, you should want to celebrate this guy. In my opinion, like this is yeah, absolutely this, this is a story yes. that we we could all rally be, behind. So um, yes. thank you. Um, uh, but hold on, just a, a little caveat to that, and I'll shut up. Uh, you know that the people saying Blue Lives Matter, it's not really about Blue Lives Matter. Yeah, it's listen. Really I don't. I don't. I don't know. Skin. I don't. I don't know. Yeah, I, I. I have friends that kind of lean that way. What I'm not. What I'm not gonna do is I don't want to dismiss anybody from doing the right thing. And if the right thing to some people is we need to protect our law enforcement, great. Here's a way for you to protect your law enforcement. Here's Understood. a way for you to stand with the blue, um, and and keep it and 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 celebrate somebody that should be viewed as a national hero who's giving up his. Mm livelihood in his career you know what i mean so for sure wow. king stream entertainment Bruce Lawn. <laughs>